last two weeks, I have been trying out the new WOW free space girth with my gorgeous horse, Toby, here. We've given it a thorough trial with sessions at home, training and competition. He seems to go really well in it and he's had good results too. He won his first elementary and won a, a one day event at Solly Hull. But let me tell you why, as an equine anatomist, I really like this girth. And in order to understand that, we need to look at the anatomy of the girth area and the girth itself. So now let's look at the anatomy of the girth area. When we think about where the girth sits, we often focus on the side and the rib cage, but actually most pressure from the girth will be applied on the underside. And actually the structure that's really of, of very importance is the ascending pectoral muscle. So let's take a look at that muscle on Toby here. The ascending pectoral muscle is really quite large. And if you come down and look at the underside, you can sometimes see a bit of a bulge in this area. It's bigger on some horses than others, but this bulge is the back of the ascending pectoral muscle. You can sort of see a semicircular shape just here in this area. And if we compare the left and the right hand sides, you get a bit of a, a V shape or an apex of an A. And, and that apex, the left and right sides of the ascending pectoral muscle is pointing towards the back of the horse's sternum. So the back of Toby's sternum is here. So this is the back part of the ascending pectoral. But all of this area here is the ascending pectoral and it carries on underneath the elbow, underneath all this musculature of the forelimb and attaches up onto the inside. So we're coming up underneath all of this uh, forelimb musculature bulk and it attaches up onto the inside of the shoulder joint. So this is a really large muscle. And it's really important in movement of the horse and the movement of the forelimb. It helps to bring the foreleg back in relation to the body. Or we could say it helps to bring the heavy weight of the body over the planted limb. That's when it's contracting. But it's also important to allow for elongation of this muscle as the leg goes forward, as the leg protracts. So it's really important for uh, creating movement, but also allowing expression of the forelimb. Now let's take a look at the WOW free space girth and see how that relates to this muscle. So this is the girth. And uh, the first thing to notice, and this is what I really like about it, it's basically made up of two pads that go over the, or under the sternum. This first pad closest to the sternum is really soft and pliable. It's got uh, air in it so that uh, it can be compressed. The second pad is soft on this side, so there's padding on this side. But if I turn it over, you can see that this pad is actually fixed. It's a hard pad. And what this does is mean that the pressure from the girth straps is distributed over this area here. And the fact that these two pads articulate and move means that when we have contraction of that important ascending pectoral muscle that I talked about on the left and right sides, it allows for extra movement of that muscle, which is, which is fantastic. And I know that David has done a lot of pressure testing on this, which gives me a huge amount of confidence. Let me just show you what it looks like uh, when it's on the horse. It's important to make sure that the pad is exactly in the middle, actually on that midline, physically on the sternum there, and it sits in the two grooves of the two ascending pectoral muscles really, really nicely. But actually there's a gap at this point here, and as I say, that flexibility between those two pads really helps for extra movement in that area. So, that's what I've been finding about the WOW free space girth.